Do I remember recording this time, Brody? Yep. Okay. <coughs> okay, Shop Talk Podcast, episode 28, in here with Brody and Kyle again. How's it going, you guys? Good. Going good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was a good weekend. Yeah, it flew by. But yeah, it did fly by. Didn't d- get much done. No, not really. But it was awesome. Yeah, me and me and Brody and Regan watched seven and a half hours of UFC yesterday. The whole thing. <laughs> the yeah, whole the whole thing. thing. The early prelims to the very last fight. We watched every single fight. It was awesome. From from five p.m. to like twelve thirty at night. Oh my yeah. goodness! It was a it was a work day. <laughs> twelve thirty last night. I think I was rolling through the McDonald's drive through. Nice. Yeah. Uh huh. Those yeah. are always good nights. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a tummy ache this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beers and McDonald's do that. <laughs> yeah. But it turned out all right. So, What were you doing in Bemidji anyways? I had two 30th birthday parties ah. <clears throat> going on at the same exact time. Mm-hmm. So That's pretty cool. They're not like kids' birthdays you had to go to. and No, no, no. No, it was they, actually real birthdays. Yeah, happy birthday, Jesse and Levi. There you go. Sure. Just throwing shout outs out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right away. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they did bring up though? They watched the show. Um Really? Was, yeah. They uh they brought up us making our own page for this, which would be a lot of work, but like a web page or what like kind a of Facebook page oh, and Facebook Instagram page. page, you know? I I we have thought about doing the Instagram page thing. Okay. Um because like go- looking up episodes like on Facebook, you have to either search me or you or yeah. our load racing. Like if we just did a shop talk podcast one. Sure. Sure. Yeah. And we, then yeah, like we if we all three had the login for it or something like that. I don't know. I wouldn't need it. I don't. I, I wouldn't uh, either. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> like you're running this page, by the way. <laughs> I'm not running it. But, yeah, but the, it, it does make sense. Yeah. I it, thought I thought of that too, but. But the the reason we started doing it just at least under the R the R yeah. page to start yeah. with because it had a certain amount of followers already. Yeah. So I figured it'd be a little bit easier to get it more out there. Mm-hmm. But like maybe now that it's it's starting to roll and gain traction, maybe it could go off to a separate thing. I don't. know. Yeah. I don't know. Let us let us know. I don't know. Yeah, we're at like a cruising speed of like forty five mile an hour right now. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> wide open yet no we're chilling we're yeah. waiting for that big sponsor monster yep. energy i mean come on then we're gonna get up to like 70 miles an hour zin <laughs> zin zin we're going like 120 then <laughs> yeah zin blue chew whatever <laughs> manscape blue, yeah. blue crew blue crew yeah, blue, blue crew. crew blue crew blue chew <laughs> <laughs> so no. episode uh 28 um we had somebody in the works or kind of thought of to call for today um but a text message this morning no reply so i don't know if that's my fault for maybe it's their work phone i don't know and they don't have it on on the weekend it's sunday it's god's day no one wants to talk to us on a sunday (laughs) or maybe i should have texted them on friday and asked about it so oh well maybe it's my fault no big deal nbd so oh, oh well they just get to listen to us three talk for Hours. Hours. La- so last weekend, Wes Elby was in here. Very popular. Yeah, that was a good one. Oh, uh, yeah. I had a lot of people message me saying that that was the best one or number two behind Brian's. Yeah. People, Brian's episode is number one to a lot of people. Oh, yeah. They've, I've heard that. Mm-hmm. And it was also, was it my, uh, the longest one? No, Wes's was the longest one yeah, last uh-huh. weekend. Yeah. So, yeah. What the, yeah, the Wes one was really good, so... Yeah, it was yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> and it was it's always cool to have guests in here to yeah. talk to. It's just easier to have a conversation and it just flows better. Mm-hmm. It's more authentic, I don't know. Yeah. It's just way better. For next weekend there might be one in the works to be in studio to be again. in studio yep. again. It's hard it's hard to promise stuff if in case it doesn't work out, then it's like, oh shit. Like mm-hmm. I'm glad we didn't promise the thing we were trying to do today because mm-hmm. then it would have just been uh, a, just a flaming pile of, of nothing. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, I like where that was going, but <laughs> yeah. you didn't you didn't end it like I thought you were going yeah. to. But oh well. <laughs> just a flaming pile of nothing. So, uh, so like 
So just to, I don't know what, uh, so episode 28, probably motocross talk. Yeah, motocross talk. Mo- motocross. Um, and quad talk. We and quad, quad and talk. quad talk. Yeah. Yes. Yes, the quad talk. I really didn't do anything this weekend, but you guys were riding at Brooks, weren't no, you? Kyle didn't ride. Oh, you didn't ride at Brooks? I had birthday parties. Oh, yeah. But last, last weekend you rode Kyle. Yeah. First time in like a year and a half. Yeah, yeah. And first time at Brooks in like three years at least. Yeah, like two and a half, three years, something like that. What do you think of getting back up to Brooks and then getting back riding again? Well, the dirt is so different. Than what you had out in New York? Yeah, it, out in New York, it was, like, super tacky, like, everywhere you went. You oh, know, really? There was, like, no sand out there. Oh, really? So, like... What, like, Southwick is sand? That's two and a half hours oh, away. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so a different sand vein. Yeah, yeah. South yeah. of you. <laughs> different, different muds, different areas. Mm-hmm. Special teams, special plays, special players. Tuesdays. Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah. This, the, uh, since I went back to work this past week... Our new our new scheduled programming will be Tuesday mornings. Is, oh yeah, is when the episodes will be released. Yep. So, so. I did I got a comment about that. Polly V said they should come out on Wednesdays for him. <laughs> <laughs> he can listen to it whatever day he wants. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> weird. You don't have to listen to it the next day. Yeah, you, you can save it. <laughs> yeah. You could bank them up and binge listen to them or binge watch them if you yeah. want. Five at a time, yeah, waste many, the whole day. How many hours have we filmed, do you know, approximately? Oh, who it's knows? It's got to be a lot. It's 20, like a... 28 episodes and... Average it's been, two and a half hours per... I'd say you could say two hours. To, yeah, two and a half. So 48 so, hours. Yeah. Something like that. A film. Mm-hmm. That they could it's like watch. a couple season series on Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> if you're driving from New York to California, <laughs> you can listen to all of our episodes. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. I don't know. We should test that theory. No. I'm not <laughs> I'm not driving that far. Um so yeah, Kyle, you and Tori were back out riding this past weekend. Yeah, it was fun to have Tori Tori there. Yeah, he picked up a brand new Honda. Yeah. So like somebody was going like close to the same speed I was. My dad said he was catching you a little bit. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's 59 years old and he's catching you? Yeah, yeah. I was going pretty 58, slow yeah. the yeah. whole time. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, it was your first time there. Yeah. In a couple of years. Yeah. But still. <clears throat> but, hey. Kind of funny. Did, what was it, three or four 20-minute motos. Yeah. yeah. Out there the whole time. Nice. So, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, one, that is pretty good. That's yeah. Pretty good. Arm pump? No, just uh you know, hands get a little tight. Mm, mm-hmm. That's basically it. No arm pump. Yeah. Probably wasn't going this fast. Yeah. Fast <laughs> not, enough. Not, not f- fast enough or scary yeah. enough. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, oh, this past weekend, do you know that CJ Rarug? Yep. Yep. I what well, I can't even pronounce his last name. He took a hell of a crash. Ooh. Bad. Like, I think he broke, he sent me a Snapchat today. He broke or fractured something in his arm. Oh, no. Two, two spots or something. Came over the finish line jump, and he swears he overjumped it by, like, 5, 10 feet or something. It's like 120 foot to the where the landing is. Yeah, and I I jumped it a couple – I cleared the whole finish line jump a handful of times last year. Uh, a f- few feet short the first time, second, third, fourth time, just greased it, just perfect. Yeah. The next time, like, fourth or fifth, just, like, a foot or two feet long – Front tire landed right to flat. Oof, My right arm blew off the bars. <laughs> chest hit the handlebars. Just like, just knocked myself into my bike. And I was like, okay, I cleared it. I can, uh, I can say I did that mm-hmm. and, and not doing that again. Yeah. Yeah, that one is always, that's a big jump. <laughs> it's a big jump and the landing isn't but, very forgiving. Yeah. And like where everybody does normally land, it's like super soft sand. Yeah. So like. Hit that a couple times, and I was like, no, this is dumb. So I started hugging it right and left. Oh, sure. So <clears throat> then it made it easy. But I seen a thing on TikTok this past weekend, scrolling through, of people putting uh, kiss marks on their, their bar pads. I thought that was a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's every, I, Yeah, I think that's going to be the thing from now on, putting kiss marks on all of my bar pads. <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe that's what CJ did. But yeah, my dad dad watched it too. Like not the beginning of it, but he landed and just instant swap head shake and into a tuck and barrel roll. Yeah. Oh, and so cool. I I came over the the step up and then they were waving at the finish line. And so I roll over the finish line, and then there CJ's just laying there, just limp. I was oh, like, oh, no. shoot. So then I rolled past him. There was a bunch of people around him at that time. And I just roll up to the truck and pack it up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah. I've, I've had enough for the day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're done now. Yeah. We're done. Yeah, after yeah. seeing your buddy laying there on the ground, it's like, all right, we're, I'm done for the day. Yep, yeah, let's go home. So, so yeah, that was, his, that was his first ride of the year, too. Oof. Yeah. God. But quad, quad talk. So, yeah, man. I didn't think we were gonna actually get into this, but it's <laughs> it's like <laughs> so dad so dad dad sold the catalyst. He sold the catalyst and then just went and bought a quad the next day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we went and picked up a twenty three Yamaha four fifty R. Yeah. And so he had a he had a O nine back in like twenty twelve, twenty thirteen. And it was a blast. That was kinda right in it was a weird era around here where nobody really rode dirt bikes. Mm-hmm. So then dad thought it'd be fun to get a quad. So he got that quad and had fun on it. But then that's when like trail riding and mudding got really popular. Yeah. And then so he sold that and got a sportsman. So the sport quad life was short lived. Um, my mic was moving on me here. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. That was happening to me last weekend. Oh. Yeah. The, the old drift. Yeah. So to get back into it, he was excited to get one because it. Quads are a lot of fun, I'd say. I don't know why the hate the hate of the moto community hates quads so much. I know. Do they really? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, I had no idea. If you I, ask like, a, a hardcore dirt biker, yeah. he hates quads. Yeah. Well they just say they're failed motocross guys. So they switch to quads. That, <laughs> that makes is, no sense. That is wow. That's where so I'm up at Brooks this weekend. I'd say I'm a, a fast C guy or slow B guy, I would say. Sure. And I jump on that quad, and that quad is hard. Oh, really? At Brooks, it is hard. Yeah. Like, on our track at home, it's hard packed and everything, and you can drift it around and everything all, all you want. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is, that is a nice one. You should get that one, Kyle. Is that the one you're looking at to buy? Yeah, I went and looked at it yesterday. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be fun. We'll see. Hmm. Yeah, what is it for the people listening? Suzuki LTR 450. Yeah, so it'd be like same same style as my bike, you know, mm-hmm. same era. Mm. So if yep. I kind of did like the same color schemes and stuff, <laughs> I'd just be the coolest guy. That would be that would be pretty cool. Yep. matching bike <laughs> and and then quad. now now we're starting to raise ZRTs, which came with a Suzuki engine. So yep. it's in the blood, man. Yep, yeah, <laughs> it's all working out. <laughs> but but yeah. So I'm jumping, jump everything on my dirt bike, no problem at all. Um, man, that quad is tough. Yeah, I took, I fell off. No way, I fell off the quad. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, in up at Brooks, the the roller section into the right hander with that that roller kind of right in the middle. Yeah, that big one that I was kind of I was doubling, and then that that sweeping left with the whoops in it. Yep. So I'm hanging off. And the rear tires kind of climb out of the, the quad ruts. Yeah. And start spinning around on me. It gets on top of that sugary sand. Yeah. And it almost starts coming around almost like a loose snowmobile. Yeah. And it's like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. And then it's like, it, it didn't want to tip at all because it's so wide. But it's like, it's pulling me to that side. And so, like, I almost just let go and just stumble off the side of it and, like, I fell onto the ground, but I wasn't on the ground for more than a second. So we need to mock up one of them our our raceway bars, you know. <laughs> well, no, it <laughs> stayed it stayed really flat. Yeah. It was just on how it just kind of climbed out of the ruts there and got on that loose sugary sand. And so I looked to the west where all the people park along that west side, and nobody was there watching. So I don't think anybody seen me. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> but it was. It was, uh, I even talked to the one guy on a Honda who's, who's jumping everything, yep. jumping a big triple and everything. And I went up to him, I said, I give you guys, the quad guys props. Yeah. Because you make it look easier than it is. Because mm-hmm. I didn't jump anything on the quad. It was sketchy. Yeah. It goes through the rollers really nice though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where you could just lean back and just yep. carry the front end over the rollers. But that new, those new Yamahas in 2014... The EPA put a bunch of restrictions on them yep. because they're like a trail. They could yep. be used on trails. And so it's so gutless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
that was kind of my thoughts. Like, there's some that are like, it just doesn't feel like there's any power. Like, as much as so as like a bike and stuff yeah. like that, you know. But like, like we can ask Vince. But like, I know the pro quad guys that Vince helps. They have theirs tuned up to where it's it's making like the same horsepower as our dirt bikes. Mm-hmm. But it's it's just odd. Like I think putting the dirt bike motor in the quad would be a, a game changer. Yeah, uh, just instant power and everything. But there's a few like modifications that Dad's going to do to that thing to to wick it up a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it'll be it's 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 fun. It's more snowmobile ish than yep. dirt biking. Yeah. Just on how you you hang off the sides. Yeah. And you wait. Like I told Dad, it's like you weight the outside peg a lot more, mm-hmm. like almost like a, a kick plate on your on the oval sleds on how those guys kind of push against that mm-hmm. when they're turning to the left. So it was, I had a blast on it. Yeah, at Brooks, I was doing I was doing back to back motos mm-hmm. of of the AB practice on the bike and then the quad practice on the quad. So I put in a lot of motos this weekend. It was fun. So are we racing next weekend, Kyle? That's a negative for me. <laughs> I was so slow. <laughs> like, I don't know what it was. I don't know. I'm just getting old, I think. Getting old. Oh, my God. My my cousin Thad, he was up there this weekend, brand new beta. Thad was going pretty good. Uh, first day on the new bike. He didn't tip it over. If he would have tipped it over, then I would have maybe rode it because I didn't want to tip it over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if he, he would have tipped it over and scuffed it up the first time, then I'd have been like, okay, yeah, I'll ride it now, but... It was still looked brand, brand new, so I was like, I don't want to ride the it yet. 350, 450? 450. Nice. Yep. Yeah, it was the same exact bike that they're racing in Supercross. Oh, sweet. The 451. Yeah. It looked cool. Yeah. But yeah, he was complaining about how old and how old he was. He's 38. And dad's like, I'm 58. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. And to hear you say that at 28, 27? 27. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Maybe you're just a, a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Might be, too. <clears throat> no, you're just out of practice. Yeah, out of practice is be the big thing. I'm yeah. a dad now, so yeah. I had some stuff to think about. Mm-hmm. Sure, but out of practice, and then I got you know big time career. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Johnny can't lose you. Yeah, if I fucking break a hand or something, <laughs> that would suck. Just gotta learn how to spray with your your left. Yeah, it doesn't look as good when I do that. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Have you ever tried spraying with your left Oh, yeah. Uh, I practiced, and yeah. Oof. If if that's how I sprayed all the time, I wouldn't have a job. Yeah. <laughs> like semis and stuff like that. Be hanging from, like, the rafters mm-hmm. and then trying to get way the hell out there with yeah. your left hand. Yeah, it doesn't turn out as nice as if you could just yeah. s- stand up and do your right hand. <clears throat> but it's hard. <laughs> It's weird. Mm. You might as well cut my left hand off. It's completely <laughs> useless. I can't do anything with it. Can't write with it. Yeah, can't yeah. shoot a gun left-handed. Can't swing a bat. I, yeah, can't do anything. So cut it off. Speaking of swinging bats, like, <laughs> I watched Happy Gilmore this morning. That's a that's a golf club, but okay. <laughs> so, like, are we going to go golfing this summer? Shit, yeah. I think that would be a blast. Yeah. I hate golf. You hate golf? It's fun, though, when we go. It's fun. For, like, if you do good, like, the first, like, two or three rounds, and then, like, that third, fourth, fifth, where you just shank it into the wood, <laughs> shank it into the water, lose three or four balls, it's like, all right, I'm ready to be done. See, all I need is one good hit, and I can be like, I'm done for the day. I can shank every ball after this, but I got one good one good line drive that went pretty far. It's like, I'm happy. Now it's just drinking beer. Yep. I think that would be a blast. You just have a couple cold ones, fucking whack some balls around, mm-hmm. play best ball. Yep. Shop Talk Podcast Golf Day. Golf Day would be sweet. And nope. we can vlog it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yep. No, we did talk. We talked about uh, last at UFC, we're going to vlog the Beer Olympics. Yeah. The Gondic? Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. So when is it? Is it June? I think Regan said it was Memorial Day. Yeah. Oh, so the end of May. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. We got to build a stack team. Well, it's only two people on a team. Okay. Yeah. And I don't drink, so. <laughs> so if, well, Regan, ben, Regan and Lewis are the like the three-time defending champs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Ben York. I haven't been there for a couple of years. Me and so. Ben York got last place. So if we want to do a shop talk team, I'm down for that. I'm sorry, Ben. <laughs> There you yeah, go. me and Brody will be a shop talk team. There you shop go. Shop talk podcast team we can, at Beer Olympics. We can make t-shirts. 
Yeah. <laughs> if anybody wants Shop Talk Beer Olympic t-shirts. We have Shop Talk Podcast regular t-shirts yep. for sale. Yes. <laughs> we might even throw in that special guest. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good idea. I mean, we're always up for a good competition. Sorry, oh, yeah. Ben. Sorry, Ben. Ben, you're out. Me and Brody are the next worldwide champs. It just makes more sense, you know, to have the team on the roster. Yeah, and I weighed myself. <laughs> I'm doing really good. Really, yeah, <laughs> I struggled. Really? Yeah, because we, well, we had so much. That's why I got a Mountain Dew this morning. Oh. Five, five year hiatus off the off the dews. <clears throat> had one this morning. I because I stepped on the scale last night. What were you? 180 pounds. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. Nice. Lighten, lightening up. Lightening up. <laughs> But I am getting weaker, so. Oh. <laughs> you haven't been rowing? I have been rowing like oh, yeah. a son of a bitch. <laughs> but it's like not the same muscles that I used to use all the time. Oh, sure. Lifting and stuff. <clears throat> so, like, when I go back to my older routines, it's like, God, I used to be able to do, like, 20-pounders in these and, like, flies, you know? Yeah. I do a lot of flies lately, and it's like. Five pounds. Yeah, I yeah. used to be able to do. Well, I do, like. <clears throat> 20 reps of five pounds mm-hmm. or something like that. I used to be able I mean, to Flies do are hard, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I guess I am just a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so I th- I'm debating on racing this weekend. Yeah. I like, I like doing one, one race a year just for, just for fun. Period. If we got quads, I mean, I'd be so down. You'd rather race, race quad than yeah. uh-huh. for, for us to just go up there and battle in quad C. Yeah. None of us jump any of the jumps. Yeah, every, just, just like <laughs> roll everything. <laughs> roll and race. Yeah, and if I see you jump something, I'm going to cuss you out. <laughs> what are you doing trying to go faster? <laughs> God damn it. Ugh. This is just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, that, uh, so I'm thinking about racing, but I'm in, I'm in this in-between C and B class almost. Mm-hmm. Like, So you're like a vet 30. <laughs> kind of yeah would be right in there yeah like the b the b guys are too they're too fast because mm-hmm. like there's the a guys of like brandon and jeremy and uh cj yeah. he's a guy and then there's like the b guys of like uh lawrence egg he's really fast yeah. on a bike and like jesse he's pretty he's faster than me on a bike mm-hmm. so i'd say i'd put him in that b and there's a handful of other b guys up there that i don't really know their names but i could pick them out like on Mm -hmm. on the guys that are out there on practice day that are faster than me and then like i'm faster than the c guys so it's like but like i went and raced the the c class last year up there and i didn't win yeah so we'll do c class again if you if you won by a minute then it wouldn't yeah or just or just do b and but they're they're those guys are so much faster even in the sprint speed like I don't have the like up in our fifteen minute uh, practice sessions mm-hmm. that they they're faster with their their pace, but then they don't have the the stamina that I do. Mm-hmm. So like with like five minutes left, then I'm Is slow. It stamina or stamina? Stamina. Oh, you did said, I say said stamina? Oh. <laughs> did I? Stamina. Yeah. <laughs> stamina. Stamina. Yeah, stamina. <clears throat> Who cares? Where, it's just words. Yeah. I get them wrong all the time. Mm-hmm. Where it's like the turtle and the hare. Where like I'm going slow, but I can carry that pace for yeah. that 15 minutes. Yeah. So then I catch them up, catch up to them right at the end of the 15 minute session, to where they're just cruising around. So like they have that five five to seven lap sprint speed that I don't have. Mm-hmm. So like that's where I think I'm. My race craft is like C class. Fast, I'd say fast C class, slow B class guy. Yeah, which would probably be what most of the American motocross people would categorize themselves as. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so I don't know what to do. Just race C, like you did last year. Then, you, yeah. if you're only doing one, then yeah. yeah, just battle the same people I battled last year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so maybe, maybe we'll race this weekend. Maybe Unless not. they're all moving up, then you can chase them. Yeah. No, there's. That's the thing with, like, motocross. It always, like, even with snowmobile racing, there's the people that should move up that stay down and kind of sandbag. Mm-hmm. But, like, I'd rather have fun battling people more my pace than just getting fifth behind all the fast B guys. Because mm-hmm. yeah. that's kind of what it would be like. I don't have that sprint speed. Mm-hmm. And I'm not, 
don't want to go out there and crash. Yep, that's the biggest thing. Because if I go out there and try to keep up with those guys, that's when you make a mistake and crash. I like to stay around that, like, 80%. That's my biggest thing with the motocross stuff is just trying to keep yourself in one piece. Yeah. Because, like, there, you can e- so easily just, like, oh, overdo it. Oh, yeah. Easily tuck the front end. Yeah. And just collarbone right there. Yep. Collarbone or catch a leg in your rut and yep. blow your whole knee out. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, that was another it was another successful weekend for me and Dad. No crashes or tip-overs. So, that's... Except flying off the quad except for a second. Off, except fly, flying off the quad on its first day out there. That was a mulligan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. But I'd say if if I had the money, I would have both. I'd have one of each. Yeah. I'd have a bike and a quad. Just because they're, they're both same but different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same, same, but different. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's... It's so much like a snowmobile. It's so fun. Like yeah. me and Dad, I almost joke that we could put curved bars on there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and then, like, yeah, put, put a curved uh, clutch lever, lever on there. On and everything. there. Yeah, you'd have, that would look so sweet with two curved levers on there. <laughs> I don't yeah. know how you do it right-handed with the throttle. Yeah. <laughs> but like switching from the twist throttle to the thumb throttle, it didn't uh, it didn't phase us at all. Yeah. Like because yeah. we're like I know some moto guys can't do a thumb throttle or mm-hmm. some. Quad guys can't do a twist throttle. Yeah. But we could go. I went back and forth moto to moto with mm-hmm. them, and it's just, I don't know, so used to a snowmobile almost. How's, how's Glenn liking it? He likes it. He likes it. He was, uh, but he still likes his bike, though, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, so he doesn't know what, he's like, shit, I could keep both of them. <laughs> I was like, yeah, sure. But yeah. he's he's pretty happy with the quad, though. He, he likes it at our track at home because it's kind of harder packed. Mm-hmm. So you can really drift, pitch that thing in and yeah. drift it, like, into the corners. So he, he's got a few things planned for it, and I think then after some performance mods, then he'll really like it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I took it around a couple of corners, and just first gear, I was kicking the ass end yeah. out, and like, yeah, this could be fun. Yeah. <clears throat> or do you need a bike? Yeah, any more I don't need on a, a bike. bike. No. On a, a motorcycle? Yeah, road road bike. Oh, yeah, road bike. Yeah, yeah. motorcycle. Yeah, because yeah. there was a lot of people on the road today. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it was a super nice day out right now. All day by my house. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you, there was a big fire in Shevlin? Yeah, it was north of Shevlin. Oh, north of Shevlin. Yeah, north of the tracks. That's where, you know, all the, shit like, gets weird. South of the tracks, you're all right. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> me and Brady pushed up a big, uh, like, brush pile oh. for them last year. We cleaned out one of the ditches in the city. Yeah. So I didn't, I seen it on Johnny's Snapchat. Mm-hmm. I figured maybe they would be burning that, but it was a windy day for it, too. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know if it's just, like, a natural wildfire or something. I don't know. Natural. Unless somebody's... Cigarette buds. Yep. <clears throat> Break dust. Break dust. <laughs> I think Chance caused a, a wildfire in the ditch throwing a cigarette butt out by my house a few years ago. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was him. <laughs> Just calling out Chance, Daryl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The fuck, Chance? <laughs> yeah. Starting so fires? All these wildfires, just send Chance the bill. <laughs> Screw using the tax dollars for that chance can pay for it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> did you? They're uh, clearing the old railroad tracks in mm. between Clearbrook and Gonvick here. Oh. Um, they had a mulch head on there, yep. on a skid steer, and they were clearing it. And the word is that that's going to be a snowmobile trail. Oh, sweet. They're just, that'll be a straight shot. Yeah. Which no approaches then. Yeah. So. ZRT would have a heyday there. Yeah. Well, the only thing you got to worry about <clears throat> is deer then. Yeah. But yeah, it's kind of cool they're they're doing that. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like me, and Manny went up and down on the side by side today uh, when we came to Clearbrook. Yeah, and it's it's nice. Mm. Like, why wouldn't you use it? It's it's a nice flat yeah. road already established. Yeah, it's a trail. Yeah, but it's not it's not maintained. It's just a shitty trail. Yeah, but yeah, you actually clean it up and make it nice and shit. Why not? Yeah. So I had a lot of people. So we are calling Vince here in ten minutes. Ten minutes exact. Okay. Because we he's on a. He's, he's on the clock or well, what? No, no, because last two weeks ago, I told Vince a certain time when we had Kyle on. Mm-hmm. And then I didn't text Vince that we were, like, running 20 minutes late. Yeah. So then I felt bad. Mm-hmm. So I told him we were calling him right on the dot. Okay. Kyle, I found something on the internet for you. You'll like this. You ever been? 84 Cutlass No. with, like, 24-inch wheels. No, this is something you could partake in. 
an 84 Cutlass with 24 inch wheel. <laughs> I could drive the shit out of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speaking of the weather is getting nicer and more old cars are coming out, that's, I love to see it. Yeah? Yeah. Fuck yeah. I like the old pickups more. Yeah, I mean, you see those too? Yeah, uh-huh. I, mean, I like seeing those. It's getting me revved up, get the old Mustang out. and Old Fox body? Yeah, shine her up a little bit. Shit, yeah. It's been years since I've monkeyed with it. Oh, really? Well, well I been, suppose you didn't bring it out to New York no, with you at all. No. So the the town of Kyle, Texas. Oh yeah. <laughs> is trying to break the record for the largest gathering of Kyles. Oh, dude, uh, you should go to Texas <laughs> on May 18th. They need 2326 Kyles to show up to break the record. Dude, <laughs> please do it. <laughs> please, for the love of God, go to Texas. <laughs> That's a, yeah, Where, where's it close to? I don't know. You could be part, <clears throat> sorry, you could be part of a world of history? record. Of, yeah. of history. World in, record. In Kyle, Texas. Kyle, Texas, biggest you, gathering I, of Kyle. You know, the, you mo- and 20 the monster th- truck, you know, like the monster energy <laughs> semis and everything are going to be there. There's going to be just drywall lined up. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many monster yeah. tattoos we're going to see if I go to this? It's the. I might even get one. Probably Please. The, the entry. To the, to the event is like they give you a can of Monster Energy and then you punch a hole in the drywall <laughs> and then you're in. Yep. Yeah. Then yep. they give you a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> yep. Heck yeah. With uh, white Oakleys. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Shiny, bright white Oakleys. You yeah. and 2,300 other Kyles. That would be sweet. I, How the you know, hell did I you find have, that? <laughs> I wouldn't have to ask anybody their name. Like, hey, what's your name? No. No. I'd be like, what's up, Kyle? Yeah. Yeah. What's up, brother? Yeah. You're all going to look the same. You're all going to have... I don't know. <laughs> like usually, Kyles don't look like me. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. I've seen some odd Kyles. Yeah. yeah. They're usually, like, skinny, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Skinny, white trash, you know. <laughs> like, maybe some dye in your hair or something. Or, yeah, I was just... I, I see a mullet huh. on a, a sure. lot of Kyles there. How the hell did you find that, though? Kyle, Texas. On the internet. The you internet's ever, crazy. You ever been? So I've been getting a lot of, uh, I actually got a message about the ZRT 600 class. Yeah. From one from, I don't know if I should say it or not, but it's big. Serious? Serious. That's sweet. The so, more, the better. Yeah. And if, like, I'll, I'll maybe if, if he listens, uh, I'll give him, maybe if he listens, he'll say, yeah, talk about it. Okay. But maybe not. But um, yeah, the more we can talk <laughs> about it, the better, because this but, is like the main focus for, but like people are asking me about the rules and like Chad posted something about the rules, like mm-hmm. a, a little thing. So like looking back at it, it mainly says like, O2 two and older. Yep. Uh, 600 CC open class rules. Yep. Pretty much. So basically those are the rules. Any track. Yep. Yeah. Open so. is open. <laughs> That was yeah. another thing that me and my brother were kind of talking about this week. Like, I think it wouldn't be bad to tech all the stud lengths before the race because afterwards the studs pull through the track a little bit. Because, like, every time we put a new track in, put all new studs in, and we torque all the all the nuts and everything, they're right perfect with the gauge. But then after the race – Somebody's got to, you know, they tech them. They're like, oh, you're a little bit on the gauge here. It's because they pull through a little bit. <laughs> the studs do. Huh. Well, yeah, I don't know. Well, because we put a new track in, mm-hmm. running on the ice, like put like 100 miles on it or something, and then you go back around, and ours are usually short. Like Really? Yeah, they're usually sh- short on that first run. Ours pull through. So then you, you run in 100 miles, go back around and then you give them all like a half a turn or something mm-hmm. to tighten them all back up. And then that's what kind of gets it right to touching that gauge. Ours are always right at the gauge, like perfect. And then like, after we get done racing, they pull through just you, a little bit. Do you like, do you torque, torque yours? Like there's a torque spec. I mean, that I seen some people use. It's like, Oh, uh, you just go like one, one, a good dugga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I'm, um, have time to do it, I will. <laughs> but, but at the race and stuff, it's just... Rah, 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 rah. We do all of ours by hand. Yeah. Like, I'll get them started and then go do it oh, all with a ratchet. Yeah. Like, yeah, to start a track is a process. Mm-hmm. 
if nobody knows how that if nobody's ever just studied like an ice track, you're missing out. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah, Brody, you're gonna learn how to do it this year. Your your uh, your Gen Two needs a new track. Yep. So yeah, we'll just turn on a podcast and just hang out. So what are you gonna run in classic class? Um, at Pine Lake, nothing. I could I could run the 440 in it just for fun, but like our 440 is pretty nice and try and try to save it a little try bit. To, try to and save that's it. the original winning one. Yeah. So so we're trying to save it. So it's yeah. just using it for whatever. Speaking of the 440 stuff, uh, we're talking about maybe bringing ours up to the Rozo. Oh yeah. Show you got to put the clear tank on it. Yeah, 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 we would. Yeah, get it all dolled up. I bought a brand new NOS uh, button clutch for it. Brand spanking new. Yeah. Clean it up nice. That would be sweet. That's hopefully when, like, when we're going to try to hopefully have Vince come up and maybe ride at Brooks. Oh, yeah. So uh, August. Is that when it is? Yep. Uh, so, yeah. I, I got to look. August. I got to like look at the date to that and, like, the date of, like, the DMC races to yeah. see if it works out or not. But, <clears throat> yeah, that, that's something we're looking forward to is that. And then, uh, the nationals, the vintage nationals. I'd like to go to that. That's in Duluth this year. This year, uh, I forget the date on it, but it's somewhere in August. Hmm. But August will be a busy month for snowmobile stuff. Really? Yeah. Well, and then September's heydays. Yeah. So August Polaris's seventieth, the vintage nationals and Princeton grass drags. Oh, sure. That's usually a big one. <clears throat> so gonna be a busy month for snowmobiles that's like usually the time where we accumulate all of our parts to build them for the year <laughs> i'm pumped for heydays yeah that's gonna be fun yeah i think it's gonna be fun if uh if there's listeners that don't usually go or never really go we'll be there this year set up is what the plan is i think yep yep so yeah I, i'll talk to brady about it this week and i think yeah we've talked we've talked about yeah it before. we've talked about yeah it. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm excited. We're to go talking back. about going live. I no, I don't know about live. Okay. I don't know if it works or not. Okay. Especially there with uh how many people are trying to use the internet there too. Oh yeah. I don't know if it would work. Yeah, we I might just have to save it. Yeah, yeah, be like pre recorded episodes. But no, I'm excited to go back. I had a good time the first time when I was there. So walking around looking for random muskets and muskets. Yeah. <laughs> bags. <laughs> bags. Yeah. I, I I have a backpack now. I'm good. a nice bag. Yeah. Well, no, we are we are going to be on the hunt for ZRT parts. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know really what all I need for mine. It's basically all there. Okay. VS three suspension. Forks and shocks. He'll do it. Brody, we're not. I thought you were plugged in. There, I heard a blip. Oh, yeah, hello. <laughs> Hi, Vince. How's it going? Oh, turn him up, bro. Well, yeah, he was a little it's, loud. He, he it's, we're, it's, we're getting it centered. It's good. Are you in California still? <laughs> no, I'm oh. in Minnesota. Oh, cool, cool, cool. How's Minnesota? It is cool. It's much better than California. Really? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Who would have never thought that? Huh. Vince, uh, VS3 suspension, forks, and shocks, you'll do it? I'll do it. Yeah, I got a problem. I was getting made okay. fun of here at Brooks last weekend because there was fork like oil. Like just in general or because <laughs> yeah, of yeah, like just some other Basically sort of just in general, and then there's fork oil <laughs> on, my, uh, on my hub. Oh, no. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Josh Gerbrot asked you, you got a front brake or not? Because there is so much oil on it. <laughs> oh, my gosh, really? That's yeah. what it looked like. Yeah, they were wet. What's so the, the inners don't rust? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell everybody. Yeah. I mean, people pay a lot of money for external bypass shocks on trophy trucks, and now it's basically the same thing. Yeah, you just put a used <laughs> seal in, and then, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Uh, Vince, how's it going? You, uh, we, we didn't talk to you for the past two weeks. You made a, I know. a, a trek out to California and back. Yep. Yep. So, so what were you doing out in California? Coachella. Uh, <laughs> it was, uh, an engineering test with Polaris for some race car stuff that we were doing. So Polaris has some race electronic cars. stuff, uh, 
some different shock stuff and things like that. So it's out there for a few days working with those guys. Big old crew. And is that like, so like, uh, like shock testing like that, is it go out and test it for 50 miles and then come back in and fully disassemble it and try a whole nother valve stack and setting or, or kind of what? Uh, no, we did. Um, actually we only probably did. See, cause we did an inner body change and then three or four valving changes, but we, we did a, a ton of stuff electronic wise with the algorithm and stuff like that. Hmm. Oh, really? Oh yeah. So lots of ones and zeros and stuff like that. Oh geez. <laughs> that sounds like when fun. the one oh, yeah. should turn into zeros and how bold the ones should be, you know, sounds just like a race car engine, <laughs> but it's suspension. So you're, you guys are ruining the industry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we're not ruining backs anymore. So, huh? So that, it matters. That's cool. Like, yeah, I don't know how much wrenching if it's like, if it's, just all out like wrenching all day or like when you came up here and help tested me with my shock stuff where it's like Vince you nailed it the first try it's yeah. all good <laughs> <laughs> no it's, it really depends like like Dustin's stuff with the Can-Am like uh, when we were out in uh, Hammers shoot I bet I think we probably worked four or five days straight on those things like full days and just go out try it come back, tear them apart, put some time on them. Like it was, that was a lot of work on those and we still aren't done. So, Jeez. but <laughs> some stuff's a lot easier than others. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a lot of, uh, lo- pro- with those bigger ones, that's a lot of wasted oil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh. So out to California and back. Um, well, yeah, you, if you would have been home this weekend, you could have came up and rode at Brooks this weekend. Yeah, I did, I was, I did see. Uh, we were busy buddy, all weekend. So. I did see your buddy Eric was down at Medical Valley. Yeah, yeah, he was down there. I haven't asked him how shitty it was yet. I know he <laughs> tipped over and might have broke his foot or something. So. Oh, oh no, no way. that shitty. Because huh? Pack Seven strike again. Not a fan. No. Why? Because it's like wearing a sock. Like, how is a soft toe box supposed to protect your foot from getting destroyed? I don't know. Is that your boots? I made out of leather. I I like mine. Well, well, you guys don't hit stumps and shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're done in the woods. That's for sure. You guys don't wear your, you guys, you guys just deserve to wear your red wings or something like that. (laughs) <laughs> that's all the enduro oval guys run. Yeah, that, that's what I run. Run riding sleds, fucking red wings. Yeah, I can't believe that's actually legal. That they run those. Yeah, I don't know. They they all do pretty much. Yeah, uh, Vince, we had a uh, we had a tech question for you. Oh, sweet! From Outstanding, Scott Preston. Oh yeah, the promoter that runs the East Coast uh, cross country stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, let me find it here. Okay. I would, he says, I would like to know his opinion on shock oil. Is 5W synthetic shock oil o- and synthetic fork oil the same thing? Uh, no, they are not. So like a, a fork oil, it, it doesn't have to work like under pressure and stuff like that. And it has different properties to keep it from cavitating and certain things that it deals with and it doesn't ever get near as hot where like shock oil is under pressure and stuff like that and it's not dealing with dirty like springs rubbing on the inside of tubes and things like that so yeah like a a five weight fork and shock oil are not the same thing Hmm. because he he said because sometimes the local power sports shops only have fork oil so i just use that in my snowmobile shocks (laughs) Oh God! <laughs> so <laughs> they should stop doing that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, now they know. Just, just go to Maxima, and you can buy a five-gallon bucket for two hundred dollars of of shock oil, and it, it's good to go. Huh. We we have applied to Maxima to try and get you know some sort of sponsorship, yeah. and like yeah, like three or four separate times, no reply at all. Really, really, like, yeah. Huh. Yeah. I know, like, uh, 
a bunch of one of my buddies that works on a snowcross team, like they help them out pretty good. But I, I think it's a little bit easier when you drive a semi truck. So. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever you say you got a semi, we can put this big of a logo on the side yeah. of our semi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we're going to use this much stuff every year. And well, whatnot. they have a really nice sponsorship application and stuff like that. And oh, we've really? filled huh. it out multiple times and just never heard back. So I guess we're, we're just not worthy. Nope. Yeah. No. But it would be nice, you know, yeah. Maxima has, you know, all this shock oil and then like they make their own engine oil too. Mm -hmm. So SC1. Yeah. yeah. SC1 would be, get that stuff by the case. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yep. And then, so. Yeah, you can buy a suspension clean in like five gallon buckets. It's not scented, I don't think then. Oh. But. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. I've seen Pulp MX talk about that, about like suspension clean. It's like. What yep. the heck the difference would be between that and like just their contact cleaner? Like, um, well, so the contact cleaner, like that'll wreck some plastic parts depending on what it is or not plastic. Um, some of the coatings and things like that. And it'll take off like, um, damn it, what is it? like some, some inks and some paints and things like that too. Hmm. But the suspension clean is basically only going to take off oil. Like, it, it won't even hardly take off dirt. Like, if your forks <laughs> are dirty or whatever, it's like, it's just meant to clean oil, basically. Huh. All right, cool. And then, Vince, and I... And it smells good. Yeah. Yeah, all, it seems like all their stuff smells oh, good. Yeah. Even their 927 yeah. mm -hmm. smells pretty good, but not, not like Klotz R50. Yeah, R50. Is. Yeah, but... But at least your bike runs for more than five fucking minutes then, so... <laughs> You're not a fan of R15 either? No, we don't run clots in anything except the garbage can. <laughs> oh, my God. What about Amsoil? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Vince has just crossed enough all of our potential sponsors. Yeah. And people yeah. just send stuff to you. You like, you like Mobile One? <laughs> um, actually, that's what I use in the van, so sure. Oh, yeah. There I've you been, go. I've been running the, the <laughs> Walmart uh, Super Tech. Oh, Super no. Tech oil. <laughs> no. Yeah, oh, hell yeah. Even, oh, God. even Dad's In Chevy Cruze. Even Dad's oil tests he did like a couple winters ago, even he figured out that that Super Tech was not good. <laughs> It's not very super. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's not they super. Make it, they make it cheap for a reason. Well, yeah. It's because it's the best. No. Because <laughs> it's, it's huh. the waste from other oils. <laughs> yeah. It's right out of the freaking pipeline. I think I'd probably have to run some of that through the VMAX 4, though, because ever since I put rings in it, it's only seen full synthetic, which it's never seen in its life. Yeah, And I don't think they've seeded yet. I think they're still just sliding around. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, that, I don't could, know. that could be. Have to put some actual liquid dinosaur in it, not some lab dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Vince, I had another question for you since we're, since we're a quad talk here now, you know. Oh, God. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but you you help like the the best quad guys in the country so like uh, i'd i'd say og quad god yeah yeah <laughs> right that on With the table chad, chad weenan is that who you're chad weenan yeah yeah eight time yeah Damn. um what i thought would be a cool question is uh so he like he runs fox floats on the front of his quad how similar yep. would those be to like put on a like a, a cross-country snowmobile as far as like like the tune and stuff, or yeah, yeah kind of on if they if they would correlate or be similar at all. Um, I they're it's definitely quite a bit softer tune, just because it's not as much weight, and the sure the motion ratio is a little bit different. Um, but they <clears throat> we use different steels in the off road ones as well. Since they don't get down to like such a cold temperature and don't have to seal out water so much, it's got a different air sleeve seal and a different scraper seal on the air sleeve, which they have to be serviced more, but they're a lot less sticky. Oh, sure. So. And what kind of, what kind of like Fox rear shock are those guys running? Like what kind of shock is that equivalent to, is that something just for quads you guys make? Or is it like something off of something else that you made work for quads? No, it's a it's a special shock for that, but it's just a it's an RC two shock, a two inch. Um, but it, it's just on those things you can't really mount the reservoir 
like to the shock body. I mean, the stock one is, but it gets really hot because it's right above the mid pipe on the exhaust. Yeah. So we move the reservoir like to the back with a, a hose. Yep. So yeah. It's, it's not very special. I mean, it just looks like it's just a remote res instead of a piggyback. Yep. It's, and yep. they've got like a bottom up cup in it and things like that too. Huh. Cool. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna text you a favor to ask Chad like just some super basic stock base quad questions. Cause oh yeah, I'll see. It. Well, I mean, because they used to run just the pro stock class. Yeah, like and like they're bone stock. Like you can't even open the shocks up or anything. Oh really? Mm. Yeah, like they are absolutely stock. But they don't do that anymore, though, do they? No, two years ago, I think they got rid of it. Yeah, because I, I remember seeing that on Instagram, like just just on Instagram, like seeing that they were running base stock, a stock production class. I was like, huh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. It's kind of like what we're trying it to do. It was hilarious to watch. <laughs> <laughs> it was like if you put like basically, you know, like all the 250 guys on like TTR 125s or something. <laughs> like it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, riding, I rode the dad's quad for the first time around Brooks on Saturday. And yeah, they're they're gutless in stock form. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing there. So like, even uh, did some little a little bit of research, and even Yamaha, like straight from Yamaha, says like for racing purposes, you pretty much need exhaust, air intake, and ECU reflash. Mm. Yep, yep. So, mm. but it was uh it was fun. I had fun on it. It's more snow. Have Have you ever rode? much quad vince like with any of the no. guys you've ever worked with or no just just on the grizzly pushing snow <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> but uh so like on a suzuki the the, <laughs> the kybs you know are they similar to maybe tuning a a snowmobile shock um i know they're they're pretty close to like what they would use on a snow shock but it, yeah I, I, the tuning itself is pretty different hmm. like what's in them <clears throat> you'll be fine you'll be fine kyle yeah yeah you'll figure it out i've never really stuck with <laughs> besides zero pros i've never really stuck with one like shock <laughs> <laughs> zero pro the, this you know if i do end up getting one i mean it might get a set of zero pros on that <laughs> <laughs> Just straight up 97 XCR, like a variable rate. <laughs> well, we still make shocks for them. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they're fancy, nice ones, not zero pros. What do you mean? <laughs> a, little, a little bit, a little bit more uh, bougie than you're used to, but yeah. You changed my zero pros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that 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 yeah. that'll conclude our, when, our, well, our quad talk with Vince. When something's perfect, <laughs> I mean, you always got to mess with it and yeah. screw it up. It can always be better. Yeah, yeah, be- yeah. better. <laughs> huh? But yeah, Vince, that was uh that was the questions I ha- I had for you. Did you have any? You you had your KYB question. Yeah. Do you think that we could put torsion springs instead of like coilovers on a quad? too <laughs> i i don't recommend it yeah this is yeah they've they've probably tried it you yeah know, oh yeah I'm, I'm we sure might it be, makes a lot of sense we might be getting into a world of engineering here if if we can put the same parts as like a 98 xcr in there we can get these fucking quads to go <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, Kyle. I don't know. <laughs> but like we've 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 done a lot of quad talk here tonight, Vince. Like what you're you? you're a little bit, yeah. Not I'd really. Say. More yeah. more than any other episode. Magura breaks and everything. <laughs> you're you're yeah. a moto moto guy through and through. What's what's the moto hate against the quad community? I honestly don't know. Um, I think it's the fact that most of the I mean, pretty much anybody on the moto tracks, like whether it's quads or bikes, they're just fucking babies when it comes to ruts. <laughs> yeah. And they just can't ride each other's shit. I'm just like, or they're like, oh, this fucking, the track is prepped too hard or it's too deep. It's like, just ride your thing. Yeah. Like, who gives a shit? Yeah, that's so, what I, I thought. Like, everybody's. I got don't really this. understand it because 
it turns out you can make a lot more money if you have both of them there and everybody just got along. But yeah, very, very true. Like if, the, if the quads show up at a moto race, like guys won't go. Like even when I was testing at Tampa with Chad, like there's a bunch of guys you could hear him talking. I was like, oh, I don't know. The quads are going to be here. We're not going to come if they do that again. It's like you're at a shitty fairground track. <laughs> like it's never going to be prepped good and your kid's not Ricky Carmichael. Like <laughs> no. who gives a shit? Show up and ride. Yeah. I agree with you on that one. Yeah. I don't even know the so, issue that much, but I agree with you. Well, no, there is a yeah. difference between, like, quad ruts and, well, and, and a quad hitting dirt bike ruts. Yeah, I can picture but, that. Yeah. But, like, Vince, I, I, I had to give some of the, the, the faster quad guys there this weekend. I stopped and gave them props. I was like, you guys make this look way easier than it actually is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a weird vehicle to ride even like just looking at it like you had that story of testing at uh, bcmx with chad ween and yep yep where you it was a pro-am oh, race weekend and you guys left it rough and he was setting similar yeah. lap times to the pro-am guys oh. yeah it was it was insane like he it's pretty impressive those top like few guys that's for sure uh-huh. that's crazy that it's it'd be something to get used to for sure, and then I think it it would just come more and more natural. But like to go yeah. from a, a a bike to a quad on the same track, back to back motos, it's like oh my god. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> huh. So now what? Now what do you got on your agenda for next for the next Fox venue you're going to, Vince? Um, I'm not really sure. Oh, I think the next one's going to be a uh, either some short course testing with the champ off road guys or maybe a GNCC. Yeah. The, yeah. It was GNCC this weekend. I seen it looked like your, yep. your buddy Hart got tangled up with Adam McGill in the first corner. So then it didn't, yeah, I, I didn't see, I, I see he wasn't on the podium. Yep. So I, I saw Walker and, um, Neil, Josh were second and third. Yep. So, and then Bryson won, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see any results or anything yet from that. So I haven't even watched Supercross yet. We're about to do that. Oh, so. really? Oh, okay. It's yeah. Pre- it's pretty good. Blue Crew. Yeah. Yep. Hell yeah. Blue Crew. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Otherwise, just got some more. What did I get? Well, I was gone last week, so Hannah had to exchange out some suspension for people, and <laughs> some people came and picked stuff <laughs> off. Some people dropped some stuff off. <sighs> some stuff got shipped. So. Ah, huh, cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to get her a 1099 or something, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, any news on the website? Because as soon as the website's out, we'll start plugging it. Um, I have to do get those, get them a bunch of stuff yet to, so they can really start laying it out. So yeah. they're, we're at that point where they need some more stuff from me. So uh-huh. I, with, I, they asked me last week about it and I was gone. So sure. We're going to come that this week. Yeah, and if you give me a if you give me a full VS3 suspension slogan, I'll make a commercial and everything for you. So, oh boy, oh, it's just Big we'll fancy. do it, ain't it? I'll do <laughs> it. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a pre-recorded and everything, so yeah. Brody just presses a button. I'll do it. I'll wow. do it. Oh <laughs> <I'll> yeah. <do it. laughs> <laughs> huh. Good. You, good. So, Vince, do you? Would you start doing any engine work at all, or are you just keeping it just strictly just forks and shocks? Um, I mean, I probably would. Right now, I'd just like to do suspension stuff. Sure. But, you know, like, I mean, I don't want somebody to be like, at least right now, like, hey, my 2004 YZ250F grenaded. To which I would say, no shit. (laughs) And then they'd be like, can you fix it, please? And I'd be like, no. Yeah, I because I just don't want to work on that shit. Yeah, for sure. Right Some jobs like that, you just got to turn down. Yeah, I mean, like if that was going to be like my full time thing, then I'd be like, okay, we'll take in some more work and things like that. Yeah. But right now, I'm like, I don't need to work on hot garbage. Yeah, yeah, I don't really have any interest in like splitting cases on a dirt bike and no. setting the crank just right. <laughs> yeah, no, Screw that's yeah, that. that's like I'm not concerned about my bike at all because it's because it's Blue Crew. Oh, but like if if my dirt bike four stroke ever needed engine work, like, I don't know where I'd bring it. Right. Like, Oh, really? Northern crankshafts. I got to do a, I'm doing a top end in mine this week, actually. Oh, you I are really? really bad for the piston. So, mm. Oh, just because? 
just for yeah prevent- I just, oh yeah i don't want mm-hmm. something to happen sure just preventive that would maintenance. Suck. yeah yeah how many hours are on it uh 130 something on a stock top end that's crazy yeah i never even had the valves adjusted and Vince is fast. I thought That's about it when good. I put the fuel tank in, but then I was like, it's a fucking Yamaha. Like, I'm going to put the fuel tank in now. <laughs> Would so, you feel confident confident enough to run Super Tech oil in it then? <laughs> no. Okay, well then. That's not probably that why it's ran yeah. so long. Because <laughs> yeah. he's not running it turns Super out Tech. It's, it's only had full synthetic Yamalube in it its entire life, so I'm going to probably stick with that program, yeah. Yeah. seeing as it's worked out so well. If it ain't leaking, don't change it. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> what <laughs> well if you're confident enough to do that vince then maybe if if i ever feel the need to do mine i'll ask you to to help me with it or something tips and tricks oh, yeah i've done plenty of motor work stuff before i really? just don't want to just yeah, go like, I mean, work on other people. Should... i've slithered apart and done all that stuff the 250 i had to do that like shit i had to weld the case on the 250 because one of the freaking flanges for the bearing split okay you See, should you should go like all out full machine shop and like start doing brass valve seats and everything. I fucking love throwing chips in a well, machine shop. Okay, like that's the one thing I miss about players the most is building shit like that. Yeah, that would be sweet. Yeah, we should. Yeah, I'm gonna get a lathe, just build <laughs> cool shit. Yeah, I've got a little tabletop one that I use every once in a while that i got from my grandpa but it you can't do like super nice shit on it or anything but it works good for what i need it to do mm, cool yeah like me and me and dad can do two stroke we like our yeah. zrt yeah. top end is all tore down and everything right now and but we've yeah. never he's never tore down a four stroke engine never had it opened oh yeah it's it's not that bad like he was There's always just a bunch of extra parts over the piston. So yeah, yeah he was timing always worried about like yeah, dumb. getting the <laughs> the timing chain and everything like timed correctly mm-hmm. and everything. So sure. do you think you'll ever yeah, go I've, to like a a belt style timing chain? No. Like with what Plus no, is doing so. with that like that new metal belt? No, no, like a like your timing belt. You know your timing chains. Oh yeah. You know like cars have rubber ones. Yeah. Like yeah, I, I wouldn't think so, oh. since they're, re- especially not in, like, a 250 with them revving to, <laughs> yeah, I suppose like, 15,000, so. Huh. You don't really want to want a lot of stretch up there. No, no. Oh, God, could you imagine blowing a timing belt on your cool bike? Yeah. No. <laughs> like, the instant bent valves and everything would be crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Well, okay, Vince. Well, we might we might race this weekend. We don't know yet or not. Where at Brooks? Oh, they got their first race this coming weekend. Yep, yep, this weekend. Nice. What would you qualify so me as, Vince? Is it, am I a fast C guy or a slow B guy? After watching, I would say you're B class guy. See, like I'm not though. Like there's <laughs> there's a there, there's levels to this, and there's the fast B guys that are up there. And I just don't have the yeah. sprint pace even close to them. Huh. Oh, and, sure. And I like, see what you mean. And, like, they they don't have the sprint pace to keep up with the fast A guys. So, like, sure. I don't know. I feel like just I don't know. jumping in C-class, risking my life to just go battle people <laughs> kind of my <laughs> same speed. <laughs> just line up on the inside. Then you can't be in the – you can Vince Freeze everybody. You can't get Freeze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. It's it's fun to do, but there's no money in it like snowmobile racing. Yeah. But then yeah. it doesn't cost nearly as much to go snowmobile racing either. Mm-hmm. Or it cost as that. much go to go snowmobile. As much as snowmobile racing. Yeah. We know what you mean. Exactly. <laughs> yep. We have a podcast and words are hard. <laughs> <laughs> but... Yes, they are. I feel like we're getting better, though. <laughs> that is true. Every episode, we're getting better at words. Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah. just, just let me read the names, and then we'll... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> somehow you are the name reader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Vince, did you get a chance? Can't even get my grade ten. To, <laughs> yeah, I was I was waiting to ask him. Yeah, did you get a chance to listen to last week's episode with Wes at all? Because we did change the audio settings. And um, I am. What I think I have like uh, like a half hour left or something like that. Did you notice if it was any louder? Um, I think it was a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Because I I think I was only listening to it at like twenty or twenty two in the van instead of like thirty five. Oh, so. okay. Okay. Heck, heck yeah. So we which is good it. because I didn't even have my the camping mattress in the back row to mute some of the road noise. Mm. Huh. Okay. So, so you, yeah, so. yeah. I didn't mess it up. I actually fixed it. and I helped. So yeah. cool. Good job, Brody. Look mm-hmm. at you go, tech guy. Yeah, I'm being the tech guy. Just YouTube yeah. videos, man. Yeah. That's all you need to, to do <laughs> to, to learn shit nowadays. Yeah. Don't even need yeah. to go to college. No. No, cool. Yeah. Huh. Well, okay, Vince. Well, uh, we might have another in-studio guest next weekend, so we don't know if we'll give you a call next weekend again or not. No, nah, whatever. So, I should be around next weekend. So, Well, if you want to come moto up at... Uh, the Arlo Moto Compound. Let me know. You're racing yeah, well, next yeah, I think, weekend. Uh, he's talking to Eric about maybe doing some woods riding. So. Oh, uh, okay. But if you guys, like, I want to go to Burn Benders or that Moto 108. Yeah, I'd like to get to Moto 108 this year again, too. It's been, like, five years. Or so. uh, what about Echo Valley? Have you ever been there? Yeah, uh, never for, like, a moto practice, but the hair scramble there, and we use, like, the entire moto track. Oh, yeah. And that's a really fun moto track. There's a lot of rocks, so put yeah. your hand guards on. Yeah, there, that is a rocky area over there. So that's a super fun track. So, yeah, if you guys go motoing at one of those tracks, let me know. You should actually – that would be a good hair scramble, too. There's no tight stuff. Didn't you say the Nevis one would be fun, too? Yeah, Nevis would probably be the most fun, but uh, yeah, that one's really good because anything that's in the woods is, like – we walk, we have like a huge brush mower we walk behind. Mm. Should we go and do that, a, uh, a hair scramble? would be fun. Should we go do a hair scramble, Kyle? An open hair scramble, not like a tight one. That's what he's talking yeah. about. That would be fun. You, yeah, you guys should come to Nevis, do the border battle one. That would be the way to do it. Or actually, even the first one that we're going to have down in uh, Appleton. Yep. Yeah, I've seen that. That's it's going to be like an enduro, like grass track thing. Like you see like that Joseph Garcia dude on the KTM that I don't think has a setting other than rev limiter on that bike, (laughs) but like, it's going to be a pretty, uh, like something like that, like really wide open, like, like almost no trees at all. Huh? Mm. Yeah. That'd be fun. That'd be a really good one. Get your feet wet. Mm. We'll see. Hopefully not literally. Yeah. (laughs) Vince, or just come down and ride. We can always use help. Yeah. Could I could I get paid to do like sweeping? I don't know if they'd pay you. Oh. I'd I'd, um, I'd probably rather do but, the sweeper first and then maybe a race. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Maybe we could go practice, be sweepers, sweepers, and then race Nevis. Yeah. There you go. Are you going to the Appleton one, Vince? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll be at all the border battle ones. Oh, okay, so. cool. Yeah, maybe I'll uh maybe I'll hit up Gary. Maybe he sees. Hell yeah. Shop Talk He'd Podcast collab. It. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but well, oh, one more question for you, Vince, and then we'll let you get to Supercross. Okay. Just since you're since you're a pro moto guy, how pro okay. You're you're a class <laughs> moto guy. I mean, I would say so. How how do okay. I get confidence on standing through the corners and like not worrying about like my front tire tucking or like washing out. Like that's my biggest struggle. Yeah. Like where does your weight have to be? So the, like I learned how to do that at this tiny little woods course, probably like a mile and a half. Like I bet it was like two and a half to three minute lap times. And I would like, I shit when I was racing like hardcore, I would do two hour hair scrambles at that little practice track. Um, but you just like, I would just go like, I don't know, like 75 or 80% and just stand up the entire time. And you just get like more and more comfortable with that. And then you can, you know, slowly go faster and faster. And then it's just like, it feels weird to sit down through stuff then. And hmm. that's, I mean, it's obviously like those corners at Cambridge, like they're freaking huge rollers in them and there's ruts everywhere and stuff like that. And you just have to get used to letting the bike 
do what it wants, basically. Sure. So I'll just have to stand up and just go even slower than I'm already going. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you go but that then slow, then you'll go faster. If I go that slow, then you'll, I'll you'll just tip over. About tipping over. Yeah. 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 You'll just fall over. You'll have to catch yourself. Yeah. yeah maybe do it on the quad first. <laughs> See, that's where it was a hell of a workout riding that quad because I was more confident just to be standing like in an attacked position the whole time. Sure. To where it was, it was a hell of a lower back workout. That was for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you holding on with your back? <laughs> Yeah. Huh. But yeah, I, I guess I'll have to work on that. I just get, I just, maybe it's my balance or something that it's just, um, worried about it. Just, just washing out from mm. underneath me. We'll just have to ride like that, that, like first loop at Huntersville where it's open and really fun. Yeah. Like we'll just do like four hours there <laughs> <laughs> and then you just get used to it. Huh? Yeah. I'll have to try it. Hmm. I'll try it. I'll just put standing motos yeah, at mom and dad's and just stand the whole there time. There you go. Yeah, do it. That's all you got to do. Yeah. Huh. Well, okay, Vince. Well, thanks for the time tonight. BS3 suspension. Hit them up if you want your forks or shocks done. Real knowledgeable. We'll do it. We'll yep. do it. I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But like, so Vince with VS3, you're doing like fork seals, like whatever anybody wants, like revalves, everything. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll do any of that stuff. So. Okay. Cool. I mean, if you got some wreck stuff, I got a line on getting parts and all that too. So. What's the cost to put new seals and forks? Um, <laughs> asking just, for a friend. <laughs> asking for a friend. <laughs> so like the, the forks, like just to do service. Like, uh, generally it's like 175 plus parts. So it ends up being like probably about 210, 220 bucks all said and done. And then like shocks, I do like 125 plus whatever parts and oil you need. So that ends up like 150 usually. Hmm. Okay. 10, four. Yep. Going to start shipping forks. No, this is for a friend. So, oh really? (laughs) Oh, I thought it was for you. (laughs) No, it's for me. Oh, actually for a friend. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, it's for me. Yeah. Well, uh, speedy delivery is cheap, so. Heck yeah. Cool. I don't know if I got this mail stuff figured out. You don't know how to work <laughs> the mail? I don't know, man. We'll Hell, see. you're a dad. <laughs> yeah, I just order shit on Amazon. And it just shows up. It shows up <laughs> like a week later. It just does. Yeah, it just works. <laughs> True, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Mom would know. She works at the post office. Yeah. We can get into that another time. <laughs> <laughs> the mail. The whole episode on the mail, how it works. <laughs> how the mail works. Because if something's in, you know, Georgia, and how the hell does it get here? <laughs> like, you're just trusting all them people to, like, handle it and move it around to vehicles and trucks? I, oh, no, I don't, I don't trust them, but... no. I'm well, relying on them. You kind of do trust them. You're <laughs> making a purchase or sending something valuable. It's like, God, I hope this gets there. Yeah. <laughs> Screw the mail. I'll just drive everything around that I need to be <laughs> <laughs> dropped off. Well, okay, yeah. Vince. Well, uh, thanks again, and uh, good luck at work this week, I guess. Okay. So. Thank you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> kind of kind of a weird thing to say, yeah. I guess, but okay. Hopefully no pallet racking falls on top of me, I guess. <laughs> well yeah, your fox your fox shocks number one technician. So pretty valuable. Oh okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> he didn't deny it. True, he didn't. <laughs> I'll do it. Oh, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> okay, Vince. Thanks again. Yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. See you later. Love you. Bye. Mega flow. Okay. Miss you. <laughs> <laughs> VS3 suspension. How long have you been going for, Brody? An hour 14. Okay. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Short show today. Being we did three, three hours with Wes last weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go jump on the pedal bike i think it's a nice enough day for it heck yeah sweat this, it out this damn sweat wind it out sweat it out where where is this north dakota wind coming from i don't know i hate it i it's, had that thought last night what is the wind 
The earth is spinning. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? When you actually think about it, the That's wind right. is an odd thing this to think about. Yeah, when I was a kid, I used to get weirded out by it. Exactly. It like, That's how I was last night after the UFC fights. It was windy. I'm like, what? Actually, what is the wind? Air just moves. Yeah. Like, what is making it move? And, oh, like, there's another is- cold front. Where's that cold front coming from? Has it just been hanging out in Canada, like, swirling and just... Slowly coming back around that's towards another, us. Like that's another thing. Like why a tornado? Like, yeah, that's hot and cold air colliding, and it just and then it, it just it, spins. It, it's, <laughs> it's yeah, it spins really violently and lifts houses and trucks. Uh, what movie are you thinking about? Brody's, Twister, the new one. No, what movie are you thinking about for our our movie segment? Brody's movie segment. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, well, I saw a shitty movie, The Monkey Man. Don't watch it. Mm. But I should have talked about the, the last time, um, Roadhouse, the, the, the remake of Roadhouse, the Jake one? Gyllenhaal and, yeah. and Conor McGregor. <laughs> that guy is so funny in the movie. But it was a good movie. It's wild, stupid plot, which was like the first movie. But once you get over that, it's actually a decent movie. Sure. What, what's it on? It's on uh, Amazon Prime. Okay. Yeah, you got Amazon Prime? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You watching Fallout? No, no, no. People love Fallout. Been watching Resident Alien. Mm-hmm. I haven't watched that, but it's it's all right. Me and Kate, it's something that me and Katie can watch. Mm-hmm. She likes shows that people just talk the whole yeah. time, and I can't get into that. <laughs> like, I need some action. Yeah. yeah, need a little action. Yeah, Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders is yeah. a banger. That yeah. slaps. Yeah. Um, F one drive to survive. Yeah. I started getting into it, but then, you know, Katie doesn't like it. So, really, well, Man- she just doesn't. Just doesn't. Mandy liked it. She she liked it. So yeah. But no, the new movie. Yeah, uh, I'm throwing multiple movies in there. Civil War. Yeah, that looks good. The, oh, I'm. I wanted to see that this weekend, but I just didn't want to go to Bemidji again. But uh, next weekend, I'll probably go watch it. Sure. I'm, I'm hyped for that movie, and it's made by A24, which makes all the weird, cool movies. Ah. Oh. Getting really good reviews too. Hmm. How about next weekend on a, a a racing movie that you like? A racing movie suggestion. Oh, okay. okay. Can I throw one out right, you, right now? Yeah, I can throw Ford versus Ferrari out. That's probably my favorite. Days of Thunder. <laughs> Days of Thunder too. That one's pretty good. Dropping the hammer, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna save it for next week. So now you gotta come up with another one. Oh, well, okay. For next week. But Ford versus Ferrari is my favorite. Yeah, that, that was the good best. Movie. Yep. Awesome movie. Well, okay. Well, a little bit kind of a, of a all-around show. Odd yep. show. I'm pretty sure that's how the summer is going to go. No, like, just. I'd like, we'll see. I'd like to try to have it planned a little bit better. Yeah. But, but I, like, uh, I talked to somebody. I, sorry, I forgot your name. God dang it. Terrible just, names. That listened to the podcast up at Brooks. The yep. same guy that talked yep. to you yep. uh, on four-wheeler. Yep. Yeah, he came up and said hi to me and. So you listen to the podcast. Yeah, it's, it's like, great to, you know, hear that we have people listening. <laughs> and I, I said, I was like, yeah, I try to try to be a little serious, uh, but also a little funny. Yeah. He's like, oh, you don't have to be serious at all. It's just funny hearing the stories. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, that's just how my thoughts are on some of the podcasts that I listen to, I guess. Yeah. In, in my brain on how it works, but. So, like, if you get something shipped from <laughs> Georgia to here, like, is there just one truck that makes a route to, no, like, no. another post office? No. No. You wouldn't believe on that that to go from some dinky little town where you order the part. It's, they're not going to take just one package and then, like, that you pay, like, $10 shipping. They're not going to bring that package all the way here for $10. Like, let's say you order a Yamaha part from the Yamaha warehouse in Georgia. Yeah. It's got to go from there. Picked up from FedEx to maybe some other FedEx delivery center, then to the airport, and then it goes to the airport, like to Minneapolis, and then from Minneapolis to freaking maybe Bemidji or Fargo for some odd reason, mm-hmm. and then to Clearbrook, and then to you. But there's like there's got to be just trucks that go to the post office to another post office, like that's their route. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We can mm-hmm. get my mom on. She works at the post office. <laughs> if yeah. you really want to learn about <laughs> the mail, How does the mail work? And why is it so cheap to ship? Like, why does why yeah. is there free shipping? Yeah, free shipping. It's it is not cheap to ship stuff. Actually. Oh, it isn't. No, That's, but like like when you pay for shipping, yeah. yourself, 
buying something off the internet. It's like, yeah, it's cheap. Like when, but uh, when you actually send something like you're talking about, like then it's not. We have Shop Talk Podcast merch for sale. Yes. Yeah. And it's $5 shipped to you. We're losing money on $5 shipped to you. But still, it. that's cheap. Five bucks? Really? But it doesn't cost five dollars. It costs like ten dollars. Oh, okay. To ship it, yeah. To ship a shot. I a think sh- I got scammed this morning on uh, TikTok. TikTok shop. Oh, you're not one of those, are you? Well, it said redeem a hundred dollars, nah. hundred dollar gift card. So I was like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna get all kinds of Pokemon coming. So I ordered, you know, like however much money to get this hundred dollar gift card, and I clicked order, and it's like. Here's your hundred dollar gift card. You have to spend two hundred dollars to get a hundred dollars off. I was like, "Well, I'm not doing that. You just scammed me into spending more money on your shop." Yeah, you got scammed. <laughs> Don't scam her. <laughs> get scammed. Yep. Yep. Yeah. But I got a bunch of Pokemon coming, so that's cool. 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 Yeah, I got a statue coming. I'm, Mandy, help oh, me. Oh yeah, you need to pay me. Yep. <laughs> it's weird when the internet doesn't work yeah and then you, you just don't know what to do i don't know and yeah, mandy fixes it for you yeah well no yeah just make a whole new account use a whole different debit card and everything yeah. then it works yeah another weird thing is my dad doesn't have a debit card what yeah he just runs credit cards or what i don't know what <laughs> check blanks yeah check blanks like, son nowhere nowhere takes checks anymore so like what the hell does he do it do i don't know the thing I don't like is that the gas stations, when it's, they say cash or debit card, mm-hmm. and then if you use your debit card, they surcharge you like 4% more. Yeah. It's like stupid. It's why? like, why? It's harder to deal with the cash and change. It's like, <laughs> there's no way there are 100 people come through here and you charge everybody 4% more that that pays for your little dinky machine. Yeah. The coin dozer got me last night, too, at the axe throwing <laughs> place. <laughs> Like, Is that the little machine that you drop the coin the, down and yeah. then it pushes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that got me. <laughs> I think I spent like five dollars to try and get a dollar. Yeah, <laughs> that was real good. Yeah, never did get it. No. Yeah, I'm not playing those games. Regan sent he Regan said he uh, threw sixty dollars into the slots at uh, the Thiefer Thiefer Casino. Blew sixty dollars in like two minutes. Yeah, I'm not a not a gambler. No, no. Unless it's a coin dozer. <laughs> <laughs> Just download the game on your phone. Yeah. No, I don't have time for that. <laughs> huh. Well, okay. Well, kind of an all-around show. Yeah. Episode 28. Moto season. That's what we're calling it. Yeah, sure. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Can I just point out Kyle's badass shirt? Oh, yeah. The Star- retro Star Wars. It's the first comic. That's freaking badass. I saw that right away when you were. I was wondering that when we were talking to Vince. It's, it's Overwatch. Yeah. Yeah. Video game. The video game yeah. Overwatch. Yeah. 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 I got ALR on. Oh, yeah. Ripping. Yep. You didn't wear the cut off Yamaha sweatshirt. No, it's warm out. Too warm out to wear a sweatshirt today. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm going to go ride pedal bike, sweat it out. Huh. Heck yeah. Headache is kind of going away now. So, <laughs> sweat it out. <laughs> so, yeah. Hopefully, in studio guest for next weekend. Another good, uh, good episode of stories Mm -hmm. shoot for that yeah sounds good so all right thanks see you next week see ya